at truckwreck.com fan text gilmore for a five nine four five uh we got gilmore boys y'all hit it are you seeing confirmation anywhere that's three three texts in a row just a few seconds ago that we got gilmore it's gilmore Gilmore says the yeah, 9 Yeah, yeah. Tom Pellicero reporting now okay. another big trade. Cowboys are sending five-time – or the Colts are sending five-time Pro Bowl cornerbacks to find Gilmore go. to the yeah. Cowboys for a fifth-round comp pick. Nice, baby. Great okay. trade. That is freaking beautiful. Great right trade there. by the Cowboys. We're putting our hands together for that one. That's Let's get it. your That's reaction at 877-881-1053. We are live uh, on 105.3, the fan home of the Cowboys. We are live at Shell Shack, and uh, we want you to come celebrate with us. This is worth celebrating, right? I know he's 33 years old, but that was a hell of a season Stephon Gilmore just put up. Diggs plus Gilmore, that is a, a very good corner combination. Dude, that is that is, that is is really dang good. And, and seeing, like, especially now, seeing the way Pro Football Focus graded him and just seeing the way smart people are talking about him right now, still a very, very good player. And the idea that you're only getting him for a fifth-round comp pick, yes. he's under $8 million this year, and it's a one-year deal. So yeah. uh, th- this is just this is a, a no brainer situation, and now it's like okay, now you you don't feel like you have to draft a corner maybe in round one. We know like the Cowboys like to cover their bases, but this isn't uh, this isn't just throwing somebody at the position and say hey we got somebody there. This is a legit dude. Yeah, it's it's a it's the perfect intersection of how the Cowboys want to be frugal and bargain hunt and finding a guy that gives you potential to have one of the top ten corners in the league next to your top five corner. Brian, are you giving this the big thumbs up or what? Oh, Absolutely. You know, when you start to talk about veteran guys and, you know, I know, Zach, we're all working on this draft and you're kind of feeling like the depth of the draft is at the cornerback spot. You know, maybe this now will keep you from having to go that pick at 26 at a corner. But, hey, that third, fourth round, there's still some really quality players there as well. There certainly are. And and especially now, if you do draft a corner, let's say one falls into your lap there. It's not a, hey, he's got to see the field immediately. You know, that's an insurance piece for you down the line. He doesn't have to play immediately for you to where he's got to see the field because you still have Deron Bland to Eric's point early, earlier. You know, they found something with Izzy Mukwamu uh, at the end of the season as well. So now you feel like, okay, we've got four corners there, not including Jordan Lewis, who's also supposed to be coming back for you from injury. You feel good at that position. It also makes me wonder, you know, at wide receiver – if now you've got some insurance at corner, are they more open to moving a pick to try and get one of these wide receivers if OBJ doesn't work out? And we also hear about Stephon Diggs. Diggs, to me, is a guy that's going to take a one. Do you move 26, which you probably were going to use on a corner, in my opinion, unless it's one of those tight ends to go get a guy like Stephon Diggs? I would. I'm ready to go for it. You know, I want to I want to try to win the Super Bowl here in 2024. I'm sick of this half step into building a playoff team. Let's go ahead and build a Super Bowl winner. Now, uh, this move by itself, if you can replace everything that you're losing, it gets you closer. You know, th- this is an exciting move by itself. I'm going to say for the third time today, uh, Brian Chief, this Cowboys team's going to try to win with defense and running the football. Yeah. Is this too old school for you? Yes. Or is this genius? Uh, Chief says yes. You say? I kind of feel like, to me, I'd still like, you know, I am I am all in for the defense. I have questions about offense and Mike McCarthy. I think what it's going to ha- turn into is Brian Schottenheimer's going to become the primary play caller. We'll see if he's going to be good enough. I think that's where this thing is going. Well, I, I, I think Broadus just said something. He tried to sneak it in like he likes to do. That is, yeah. that's, a, that's two breaking news moments here in this segment right now. Yeah. Cowboys getting Stephon Gilmore, and Broadus just put his nuts on the line yeah. that Shoddy is going to be the one I think, actually I think, calling out of I think, I think That's big time. I think it's going to turn into Brian Schottenheimer is going to be the primary play caller here. I know we keep talking about Mike McCarthy. Yeah. I just see this thing going a direction. That's just my two cents. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think when it's all said and done, it is going to be Brian Schottenheimer calling the plays here. I, I don't know which one I prefer as a play caller, but I know Mike McCarthy knows the way to postseason success and, and building teams that are, are, are going to be great in the regular season as well. And I, I think he's nailing it right now. He's not going to take away Dak's ability to make big plays in the passing game. He's just going to make sure that when you have to punt because you're limiting your risk a little bit more, the defense is going to go out there and shut things down. And after their defense comes out convinced that you're going to run the ball and run the ball – 
there's going to be plenty of big plays and maybe 230, 240 passing yards per game instead of trying to go for the 300. I'm really excited ab- about this, and I think they can have a lot more success running the football than they than they had with uh, with with Kellen Moore and his pass happy ways. They can be a lot more efficient at that just with better coaching. I, I, I do I do agree with some of that stuff. I do want to just add in regards to Stephon Gilmore. One of the things like Dan Dockett's just tweeted out, and we know that he's a guy that covered the the Colts in Indianapolis sports said like he seemed a little bit checked out last year in Stephon Gilmore because that was a team that was not very good at all he's a veteran player he wants to contend yes so you're probably going to get uh like a a little bit of reinvigorated Stephon Gilmore right but more importantly on the field tangibly he's got himself a pass rush in front of him that is absolutely dominant right with the Cowboys and Micah Parsons and, and how they were just sacking the quarterback pressuring hitting the quarterback all season long that should continue now you get Stefan Gilmore with a dominant pass rush in front of him you would think that only makes him that much I, better I would not be one bit surprised Jerry Jones has a very good friendship with Bill Belichick I would not be surprised if a call was made in New England to kind of get Ooh, some more background information that would on make sense Gilmore will count $10 million against the Cowboys cap this year, so not a huge cap hit. He's making, as we mentioned, about $8 million. Look, a, a great move for a fifth-round pick and what was a fifth-round comp pick that you got there. As much as, look, we'll give this front office grief, uh, this is one they should be applauded for. Absolutely. You know, this is one, this is a great move by the Joneses and Will McClay. Kudos to you guys. You bring in a player that's going to help you and uh, help you contend to win now. 29 interception in his, in his career. Uh, Stephon Gilmore, new starting a cornerback for your Dallas Cowboys. They also agreed to terms to re-sign Donovan Wilson three years, $24 million early, 13 and a half guaranteed confirmed by uh, his agent so they're making a, a huge huge investment in that secondary and right now I gotta I gotta think they're gonna have a better defense than they had last year we'll see what happens at middle linebacker maybe they're gonna draft another defensive lineman but I, I think this is the defense uh, getting stronger and, and moving forward especially with guys like Deron Bland and Sam Williams in their second year um, Agreed. I think Sam Williams is about to break out in a monster way. Yeah, they're going to need him too as well, especially if they're not able to bring back a guy like Fowler. You know, okay. they're, they're going to need more from Sam Williams. Luke Gifford, uh, he went to the Titans two years and $5 million bucks. So good run for him and the Cowboys. I think he could have turned into a good linebacker for the Cowboys if he could have just stayed healthy. He showed great instincts and athleticism. And They and, must think of really a lot, though, of Clark and Cox, you know, to, to move on from Luke Gifford the way they did, though. Yeah, hope so. And, and Cox, I think, was a good special teams player. 